Hello and welcome back to Forza Horizon 5 with our first Hot Wheels Laps build series. Yes, we are on the Horizon 5 Hot Wheels expansion with a new rival. You're seeing it on the screen now. I chose the Schruppen 962 because I wanted to use Hot Wheels car, but the only top of a class Hot Wheels car was either S2 class or A class. Forza really dropped the ball and not making one of them S1 class. But, yeah, I wanted S1 class. A is a little too slow and S2 is a little too fast and it limits the number of vehicles that you can use. So, top of S1 class is what we're going to be building. Interestingly enough, though, this car is not at the top of S1 and is at the bottom of S2. I'm curious to see how many vehicles we'll be able to top it because, sure, it's got the Hot Wheels race tires as mandatory, but that is it. It's completely stock otherwise. It's barely through S2 class. I think it's like 9, 10, something like that. And it's only got 600 horsepower, but it is very light. So as you can see, it's phenomenal through the corners. So I am curious to see these more power build S1 class vehicles, because let's be honest, they're probably only hitting 1,000 horsepower every time. How it'll fare, and yes, since the Schleppen, Schleppen is a rear-wheel drive vehicle, we will be keeping the stock drivetrain for all these vehicles. The front-wheel drive, you gotta go front-wheel drive. If it's all-wheel drive, you can use all-wheel drive. There's no law saying it must be two-wheel driven. We are starting off with a, um, a two-wheel drive vehicle, the Hot Wheels Diora 2, yes. Figure, why not have one of the most iconic Hot Wheels cars of all time as our first vehicle? This is that one actually that's at the very top of A-Class, so... Um, let's just put on the mandatory parts first. We want the racing tires. They're actually better. They're almost as good as the slicks. Not quite as good, but still not bad. 305s on the front. Massive front and rear tires. They are square, though. Don't know how it's going to fare. We want race brakes and race suspension and the whole nine yards. We're going to cut the weight down. It is very heavy. Very heavy. I have no idea if we can do this stock or not. I do want a race transmission. Uh, let's just see. We're halfway through S1 now. Yeah, we'll be fine. That turbo, that supercharger is insane. Uh, this is going to be close, though. Ooh. I, maybe I was a little eager. No, I want I wanted to use the stock engine. Let me use the stock engine, please. Okay, we're going to have to go turbos, I guess. Um, yeah, I think we're going to go with turbos because, yep, oh. So it doesn't matter. That's really annoying. Can I do anything else? Because <laughs> I really... I, I want to use the stock... I can't use the stock engine. God damn it. Well. Um, okay. We got a diesel. Not going to be very good. A Viper V10. Might be okay. I mean... <laughs> Fine, you stupid, stupid tool. And I had put all the parts back on because I got rid of them. Ah. Right, it's not going to be at the top of the class. It just doesn't want to be, okay? Uh, you know, we're gonna go with the six-speed ra- What's the difference between the race transmission and the race transmission six-speed? I guess it's an eight-speed gearbox, isn't this? We're gonna bring it down to a seven, that should be fine. We're gonna now just lengthen the gear ratios a little bit. Now, I'm gonna try something. Oh, right, I'm not using the stock engine. Never mind. Alright, there we go. Okay, 1,300 horsepower, 1,000 foot-pounds of torque, but it is very heavy, and it has no arrow. 
Okay, our Diora 2 will have five flying laps, hence why I'm starting back here, to try and beat a 143.6. Whoa, it's a bit overseer here. A 143.6 set by that 962. And this is the Nexon Speed Circuit. So it's pretty high speed, but it's also one of the only tracks that actually makes you break. Yeah. There's only 10 circuits available from the game standard. I, I, I'm going to do my usual 20 episodes and then move over to a um, community built one that should hopefully have a bit more variety because I'm, I'm recording this very early in the expansion. So there's not that much in terms of Hot Wheels tracks from the community yet. So I'm just going to do my normal... Um, series on a standard, on a, I guess, Forza design track for the first series. Oh, it's very oversteery. And then once the 20 episodes are up, we should have enough community events to pick and choose which one I want, because I want to have breaking zones. That's the best that made Horizon 3's build a series so good, is that it actually had plenty of breaking zones. So it actually tested more than just the straight line speed. These are obviously very straight line orientated vehicles and orientated tracks, but whoa! But it's not going to be the easiest thing in the world. You know, you do actually have to brake. I think at least twice on this track, maybe three times, depending on well vehicles like this, which have no aero of any kind except for a probably maybe kind of functional rear wing that's facing the wrong way. Yeah, this is, uh, it's gonna be interesting. This is much faster than the Schnupen. We're already hitting 200, but it's really not handling all that well. It does, and it's exactly what I feared. It would be very fast in a straight line. Not so great in the corners. Not so great at all. And actually, we're, not even, we're only carrying a little bit more speed than the Schnupen down there, about three miles an hour faster, which is surprising considering this has double the horsepower, but I guess like this, the 962 could just carry that speed. And this thing, this, this thing cannot, because they're on the same tire compound, so that's a mute point. Now it is better on this uphill section because of the well, power up the hill, but Everywhere else, it just loses so much speed. Ugh. And this section here, it really does not like that um, black padding, whatever, that, whatever it is. I don't know what it is exactly, but the material there, that transition, is not a fan of cars in general, especially this one. The Schupen had its issues, but you can manage it because it was so light and so maneuverable. This isn't that. This is not right. We're at a 150.7 on our first lap. We got four more. Uh huh. And the yep, lack of rear end grip I find very disturbing. And I really need. I, really, I knew this would have a lack of grip compared to that 962. The 962 was always being the more handling focus of this series. I did expect this to be a little better because the sheer power should have been able to um, offset it, I would have thought, because, oh well, yeah, sure, this is probably one of those handling-focused Hot Wheels tracks in the game. It does still have a lot of straightaways and a lot of flat-out sections. How is that a collision? Oh, I want to know how it's a collision. That's some BS. Okay. What a... We're just going to try and be as smooth as possible, not make any silly mistakes, try and carry as much speed as possible. Yep. We only got, we only got, what, two more laps? Three more laps? That's not great. Yeah. I don't like that corner. I like that corner because it's challenging. I don't like that corner because it's... Well, okay. I'm just doing a burnout now. 
I don't like that corner because it really confused. You have to take a late apex and really turn in at the last minute as hard as you can. And well, that's not necessarily the easiest thing in vehicles like this. It wasn't necessarily easy in the 962, much less the Diora 2. Whoa. Yeah, the Hot Wheels expansion on Horizon 3 was dominated by 90s sedans, weirdly enough. So I'm curious to see how much of that will transition over, because the winner was the Holden Commodore, the VK, the Group A one. That decimated everything by miles as a last-ditch effort to beat uh, Forza Edition cars, back when they were called Horizon Edition cars. And yeah, the 90s cars were really solid. It was basically the opposite of the old Baja builds that we did on the mainland on Horizon 5. They were super fast. I'm curious what type of cars will be fastest here. We are way off the pace. It's definitely not going to be this. It's We're in a 149.4. And while sure the laps could be a little better, as long as I hit the wall you know, and stop dead or anything, it's just light rebounds. I don't know. I do not know. We only got one more lap to try and get a truly clean one. Dirty flag laps will count, because I'm not a sadist. If I have a light bump like that, who really cares? Nah, it just doesn't turn, though. It just doesn't turn. It doesn't have the general grip. It's getting understeer when you try to turn in, and when you get on the power, it gets oversteer. It is better than I was expecting for 1300 horsepower going through 305 rear tires, but yeah, it's not exactly great, especially on this section here. I, got, I did a wheelie. I did a wheelie. It's, it's not conclusive to a good lap time. It's fun, it's not a bit scary, but it's not a lap time setter, that is for sure. We're going to be well off the pace on this one. I, I think this is a poor example to judge the rest of the performance on. I think there's going to be an exception. So like the RS7 on the Rallycross builds, where it was a second car run and it was kind of awful. It, it was only faster than the local motors rally fighter, which is saying something. So I think there's going to be one of those situations where I start out early as a terrible car. That doesn't come anywhere close to our time. It's almost six seconds off. Here we go, last lap. Can we get a clean one? I do not know. But I'll try. I'll try my best. Alright, we're going to be a little cautious. I feel like although the bumps on the walls are not costing us the most speed in history, it is definitely something to be avoided. I, I can't take that corner in this car. I even tried going slower. Oh, that's definitely not going to help lap time. I think we're done now. Ah. Ah. Terrible. Terrible, terrible, terrible car. No consistency whatsoever. I mean, I guess it's kind of consistent. It's just very difficult to counter that challenge, so I guess inconsistent is the wrong word. But, yeah, it's really not great. Nope, stop. I have to lift off there if I want to control the unders here, but it's, it just costs the speed then. And you can make it up a little bit with the sheer power of the thing, but not enough. Not enough to really make that much of a difference. Alright. We got one more corner to go. Just flat out. We're definitely not going to beat it. We're way, way off the pace. However, I do think we are going to improve on our lap time because the last lap, that 143, that 149.3, not a great lap anyway. And we are going to improve upon it by 148.7. Terrible laps for a terrible car. Yeah, it's it's well off the pace. I need a uh, uh, thing for that. I'm gonna bring it up, but yeah.
Ouch. Five sec, five and a half, almost, yeah, 5.1 seconds off the pace is, it's tricky. Yeah, just lack of grip across the board. It really needs forward to the arrow, desperately. But there you go. That'll be it for this episode of the Forza Horizon 5 Hot Wheels Expansion Build Series with a name to be determined. I'll be back with more.